ensuring stability and security across the Pacific region are high priorities for members deployed at Anderson Air Force Base. The 20th Expeditionary Bomb Squadron, deployed from Barksdale Air Force Base, recently celebrated their 98th birthday by dropping the last M117 bomb in the Pacific. The M117 was mostly used during the Vietnam era. Um, we've had a bunch in their stockpile, a whole bunch in the stockpile here at Anderson. I was actually stationed here 10 years ago when there were literally thousands of them here. And there's been uh, different ammo troops and different air crew and weapons people that have built and touched this weapon. And this will be the last one in pack out. That's why we're calling it the last blast. Everybody's really excited about it. The Buccaneers of the 20th Bomb Squadron felt honored to witness and participate in this last drop. It's pretty awesome to be able to uh, fly out here and drop live weapons, especially on our birthday. Uh, B-52 crews have come through Guam and dropped M-117s starting in Vietnam all the way to the, the present day. And so actually being able to be a part of the crew who gets to drop the last weapon out here is not only just great training, but it's part of a pretty cool legacy uh, that we all get to share in. The CBP, or Continuous Bomber Presence, dropped the 750 pound bomb on an island typically used to conduct training. Continuous Bomber Presence has been here for over a decade now and we're finally getting uh, to the last of the stockpile in the Pacific so uh, I'm very proud and uh, I'm humbled just to think of all the, the operators and uh, the people that have come before me in the buff. The last blast gave the Buccaneers a memorable way to celebrate the 20th Bomb Squadron's birthday with this decades-long tradition and a unique way to transition from a 20th century practice to a 21st century mission. Reporting from Anderson Air Force Base, Guam, I'm Airman First Class, Francesca Pancham.